Pre-implantation genetic diagnosis, PGD, detects genetic and chromosomal alterations in embryos before they are implanted. At IBI, we select embryos which are free of diseases so that healthy children are born. This technique always requires in vitro fertilization treatment, IVF, with sperm microinjection, ICSI. PGD is recommended for couples who risk passing on chromosomal alterations or monogenic diseases, couples who have suffered repeated miscarriages, when several attempts at IVF have resulted in failure to implant, when there are abnormalities in spermatozoa meiosis, and for women of advanced age. In order to detect chromosomal alterations, we use the arrays technique, which allows us to analyze all of the chromosomes. In cases where we want to avoid a genetic disease, we do this through the PCR technique. This technique always requires in vitro fertilization treatment with sperm microinjection. The first step in an IVF treatment is mild ovarian stimulation in the patient. Once the follicles have reached a suitable size and the required number, we schedule follicular puncture. Once we have both the ova and the spermatozoa, we fertilize the ova using ICSI, which consists of introducing a live spermatozoan into the ovum by piercing the ovum with the aid of a pipette. During the third day of embryo development, before transfer to the uterus, PGD is carried out, which consists of a biopsy to extract one or two cells from each embryo. During the third and fourth day, this biological material undergoes genetic analysis, PCR, or chromosomal analysis, arrays, while the embryos continue to develop in the incubators. This allows us to identify those embryos which are free of the disease being studied. The final step consists of transferring the selected embryo to the mother's uterus while at the same time vitrifying any remaining good quality embryos for future treatments, enabling the previous steps to be avoided.